All right. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to 90 Degree Fight Cast. So here we're going to talk about Fury and Usyk, their latest back and forth with the short videos they've been sending in each other. We're going to kick it off straight away. So if you ain't seen our previous video where we were talking about the interview with Marcos Viega and Tyson Fury and all the things he was saying, and, and we spoke about it, and what we thought about it, let's go from the shorts now. Let's see. Uh, so Tyson Fury, first one, let's play where he uh, makes an offer or, well, makes uh, a final offer, shall I say, to Usyk. I see all this talk of boxing fights. They want 50%. Who sets them all this? Tyson's being greedy. Where I'm standing, who set you and your team are worth 30%. You either take it or you leave it. And if you don't want it, go and fight Daniel Dubois at the Copper Box and get a few million dollars. If you want to make some real money, come and fight the Gypsy King. But I will say, for every day from today, that you linger, mess around, I'm going to deduct 1% from the 30%. So every day, I'm going to deduct 1% until you take it. And if you don't take it, I do have $2 million. Not a problem. But how in the world could Jews ever offer me a deal? Not possible. TikTok, TikTok, pussies. So, will you take on this? So, this is the first... Um, after rejecting 50 50, rejecting 60 40, and he said, You sit, you're only worth 30%. To me, this was basically saying, I'm gonna kill this fight. Now, this this is this was just disrespectful. It was, it was a low, proper low ball, and I think personally, he didn't want to fight, and that's why he said this offer because I think he expected you and his team to say, I'll get lost. That's not a good offer. Um, no, and, and I think he. Uh, Fury thought that they're going to reject this offer and then that will give him the ball in his court if you like to say right I made you an offer you said no so that's your fault um, but really this is a silly offer Usyk has three belts he's, he's a unified cruiserweight undisputed ex former champion come, come up to heavyweight got yeah. three belts this guy is the real deal you're 30%. You know what you saying, Habib? Yeah, same as Ross. He, I think he definitely thought that Yusuf wouldn't accept it. But you see what happens in the next short, isn't it? Let's go. <laughs> next short. Yeah, let's, let's look at the next short. All right. One second. That was within hours as well. Yeah. That was literally yeah. straight away. Yeah, so if you look at it. I said yeah. you offer. 70 30 split to fight with you on April 29th at Wembley. But you will promise to donate to Ukrainian immediately after the fight a million pounds on every day of your daily. You will pay one percent from your poorest to Ukrainian people. Deal. So, I mean, so like there you can see straight away. That uh, he, he didn't expect it, and Usyk don't care. Greedy yeah, so boy. Let me just say something. Usyk looked calm when he said, "From where I'm standing, you only worth thirty percent." So you see, his demeanor seemed calm. He seemed like he's having a good time saying this and uh, relaxed. Now Usyk called his bluff right there. Um, nobody, I didn't even expect that. I'll be honest with you. I expected yeah. I that from Fury. I thought that's it. Fight's dead. Ain't happening. Fury don't want it to happen. And that's why he did that. And Usyk isn't going to agree with this. This is nonsense. But clearly this man is a legend. And he wants to be a legend. And he's agreed to it. Let's see what response was from Fury. Usyk, you little shit bag. Sign the contract. Get your money and get fucked up. You little shit house. You must have sort of size me and shit yourself, you little... Daffy tooth, ugly bastard. Sign the contract. Who sent you little shit? <laughs> <laughs> See, to me, immediately, look at the calm demeanor to the angry. <laughs> He's pissed. <clears throat> like, how, how, you fuck, you, you actually agreed to this? He didn't expect like, it. At all. I, didn't, I didn't see this coming. What have you done? Nah. Oh, nah, he's mad. 
because he's like, I, I got trained, man. Like, he looked he like, back he, he looked like he was a holiday back. mode in the first uh video. Yeah. Now he it's looks like, like he was about to catch he looks a flight. Like someone, <laughs> someone just said to him on the flight, "Sorry, uh, we can't let you on board today. You have to turn back and go home." Yeah. <laughs> and now he's pissed. His holiday mode is over. He's going to go into training camp straight away now. Right, right, right. Hey guys, Tyson Fury here, the Gypsy King. Today's the first day of training camp. I flew my good buddy in, brother Joseph Parker. Um, we're going to start sparring later between yeah. 10 and 12 rounds. Um, George Lockhart's been here a couple of days now, um, ready to rock and roll. Let the games begin. Usek, you're on a warning. You're on a notice. Six weeks, soccer. We're coming for you. Sparta! Nah. <laughs> so it's for sure, man. Notice. First day of training. Okay, so this video don't really say much to me except, you know, he started, he's letting him know, right, I'm starting to train now. Uh, yeah. So, and that's cool. We, we want to see he's that. Fighting, so he's fighting somebody similar size to Usyk. So he, they started sparring on that day. On yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah. Training. This is the, so this is the first day of training, yeah? Yeah. Same. So, okay, so that's cool. That's fine. Let's move on. That's nothing. Uh, that's just a sign to Usyk to, in my in my view, just let him know, right, I'm starting training. Yeah, this one, this one's a bit funny. It just cracks me up. What's this Hi, one? Tyson Fury here. Just a quick one. I've been speaking to the lawyers today, and Usyk's people are talking about rematch clauses and all that bollocks. Here's one to up the aunties. How about there is no fucking rematch clause for both of us? Let's up the aunties completely. Never worry about what's in the future and how many more dollars you can get after you've been defeated. Worry about the fight. April 29th, no rematch clause. The winner takes the glory. The loser goes home with his dick in his hand. How about that? Agree to that, you fucking bitch. All right. So, so abusive. He's so abusive. Forget the abuse. That's him. But look at what he said. I've been talking to the lawyers about you lot wanting rematch clause and all this. Like... I thought you don't go get involved in negotiations. I thought that side of it sorted out. You know, that's why you, you pay know, millions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, you, you pay million. Okay, that's one. Re and the other thing, he's talking about Usyk trying to look for more dollars after you're defeated. Clearly, Usyk isn't after money because if he was, he would have said, "Get lost to your thirty percent." Uh, you know what I mean? If he was, only that, that I think there's a there's a real worry uh, on his on his side that there's a good chance that he might actually lose. That's why all of this is coming out. Yeah. Who, who might lose? Fury. <clears throat> yeah, but what I'm saying is, he's making it like Usyk is hungry for money, and that's why mm. he wants a rematch clause. If he was hungry for money, he would have just rejected... No, uh, play the thing in. Uh, play the greedy belly one next to uh, Fury. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Rematch clause comes from your side, not mine. Stop whining and ducking <laughs> yeah man in the contract or vacate the belt i need them disputed and not to play your stupid games that's cold-blooded yeah, yeah he, really? he basically put him down straight away no ifs no buts that's that's straight shooting down. that's straight shooting right there i ain't playing your stupid games i want undisputed vacate the belt or either fight, percent. either fight yeah. or vacate the belt. And yeah. and by the way, you liar, you, we didn't talk about no uh rematch clause. That's, <laughs> what so that's on your side. That's we straight up. It. And anyway, one thing I want to say about Fury saying, how about we up the ante? Winner goes home with the glory. But and it's your side. Loser goes with the dick in his hand. Uh I think U6 already trying to do that. So he ain't up, he don't need to up the ante. He's already there. He wants he to wants fight. You're the one who wants the money. You know what I'm saying? So that's a stupid thing to come out with. Anyway, up the ante. Let's go. I can't wait. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm fucking ready to rock and roll. I wish it was this weekend. Who said you daffy teeth? Ugly, bug eyed, rabbit, cat, ugly <laughs> piece of shit. You are looks angry. Now, for all the haters out there as well, I say fuck you because we got 70%. Of the undisputed heavyweight championship, Simon Jordan, you're an old bitch. No wonder you lost hundred million, bitch. Wrong business. 
You little sausage. Joe Parker, we cannot wait. Who's waiting to get smashed? Christy, the strongest of ever been. He's a monster. I'm not a fucking monster. Yo, what's the sound? Man, I don't know, man. Do you know when people talk like that? It's just, for me, it's embarrassing, man. Yeah. He, he, he's what? backing himself up. I don't mind about this. Like, he's trying to sell the fight now, I guess. But... Yeah. But at the same time, I think he's trying to save face because of what, how was it called him out on the rematch clause? I think he's just gearing himself up. He knows he ain't got much time. He's getting in the zone. He's hyping. <laughs> he's got his guys behind him, backing him. And I think he's just he's just trying to get in the in the zone. Um, that's why I'm, you know I wish you this weekend. I'm in the best shape of my life, and da da da. You know I think he's just really trying to gear himself up for this fight. I think he knows he's in for a, he's in with the fun. best fight he's ever gonna be with. Yeah, he's there's a good there's a good chance he's gonna lose it, and that's why he's, he's acting the way he's acting, bro. I think he's a bit uh um, gonna have to him up concerned <laughs> about this fight. This is why I said like me, I went with you sick when we had the predictions because I think there's a lot of things that he ain't dealt with before ever. Um you know, the way you sick fights, like I said, and I think he's gonna have a rude awakening. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's go, man. Next one. Next one. This one, isn't it? Oh yeah, before you play this, yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, Alex got on. I wanted to see. He was explaining that it's nothing on his side. Um, you know, Usyk. Uh, he agreed to absolutely everything because he, at the end of the day, he's a promoter and he works for Usyk. Yeah, Usyk yeah. is his boss. He pays him. Yeah, yeah I see that. it's not the other way around. Like some yeah. of the other promoters, and they've been working on this fight for ages, and you know. Um, you know, he's been trying to make it happen since April or August last year. Yeah, they've been um, negotiating. And he thinks that it's not, it might not happen. But Frank Warren actually got on and said, yeah. it, 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 it will. I don't blame him for thinking that. Yeah, but this is a response that you get from um, Tyson Fury. Fury after that Alex uh, uh, thing. Mm. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I don't know if I've seen Alex, this. Alex, sex manager, you sausage. Borat wants his voice back, you people. <laughs> You'll get what you're getting. Don't worry. You're the worst manager in history. You got your fighter to accept 30%, you bummed us out. Now that's how are you, you bum. You got now witty by a man and never went to school and he's like, sausage. Keep talking, your boy's going to get smashed and he's going to belt us like the other bum, AJ. Come on! Rule Britannia. So... Right. <clears throat> So he's cussing out Alex, uh, you know, his manager, Usyk's manager, for taking 30%. Is that what it wasn't it was him. Like? He didn't accept it. Usyk accepted it. Accept it. But he, <laughs> he said it clearly in, in the, in the he's thing. saying you're, the, you're um, uh, the promoter, you shouldn't have accepted that. So if you think about it, to me, it looks like that low balling means even his shot, it was accepted, which yeah. means he was actually anticipating this fight and going to go ahead. Yeah. That's why he made that offer. And now he's cussing him for taking 30%. Yeah. So, it, it, it look, just so I mean, he shot himself in the foot right there by doing that. Because that's admitting that you made that offer thinking this fight ain't going to happen. Yeah. Because you don't want it to happen. Well, Usyk did reply. Uh, there's a reply that came up online just, I think, a couple of, couple of minutes ago. Yeah. Mm. And... Um, he looks hench, bruv. He was saying he's putting on the weight and, sh and everything. I saw one of him running on the, in the pool. Mm. Uh, you know, doing the running under the pool. <laughs> and I think he's taunting belly again. <laughs> 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 saying, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Good evening, belly. Yeah, yeah, so what do you think, Habib, about all this uh, fiasco back and forth and what's going on? Man, I think it's all stupid. Yeah. Is Alex really a sausage? Huh? Do you know what? He didn't know. He had no choice. What is, is, this? is this a sausage party? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Do you know what, bro? Once Usyk decided, you can tell, he, even if they said, look, you can't accept it, but look, he wants his legacy. So at the end of the day, he's going to go for what he wants to go for. He don't care about the money. He can turn around and say, look, listen, I won that fight. Um, he wants the belts. He wants all of them. Yeah, he wants the belt. He wants everything. He wants 
yeah, the title, and he goes, stop playing games. So he's, he's going for it. You call this bluff. And now, obviously, Fury's got a safe face, hype himself up, and he's going to obviously overplay everything. I just want to see the fight, man. Me too. You think six weeks is enough, realistically, for someone? Well, he's like- saying it's enough. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he says it's enough. I don't know. What, to, to fight against someone like Yusuk, who's a very unique... Consistent, unique... I don't think, uh, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I, I personally think... I personally think he's gonna have a rude awakening. Yusuf's uh, a warrior, man. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Um anyway, I'm sure there'll be more more videos coming out <laughs> coming out because a few loves it, I think. Yeah, but in fact, in fact, in fact, actually, no. I think I saw something on uh his Instagram. He said um he's basically he's done one more video and he said, I'm out. I'm you're not gonna see me now. I'm gonna have someone else keep uh, tell you about my training. And I'm and I'm not gonna True. come on anymore. Fury. I'm sure I saw something like that. Like he's Someone going... told him, listen, man, stop it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, man. Yeah, you you make yourself look bad. Mr. Man. Fury, I don't know these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man, it's all good fun. Because at the end of the day, reacting to what's happening here, uh, just like everyone else. Um, but we'll wrap it up here. Uh so I'm sure everyone at home pretty much laughing about all this as well. But if you're a diehard Fury fan, we'd like to know what you think. Because, you know, this ain't clearly a good look, all of this. What do you think? Uh, what do you have to say about it? Um, you know, are you uh, losing faith in Fury? I mean, I'm a big Fury fan. Dill was a big Fury fan, but I'm not really liking... Uh, his character. See the guy in the middle, Habib, he hates Fury, man. Mm-hmm. Does he? <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, I man, know. I'll say it. I don't care. No, but I don't hate him. I just I just highly dislike him. <laughs> I highly dislike him. Okay. <laughs> I'm Lose, say hate. Losing, <laughs> losing respect exponentially. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, but... Thank you guys for uh, joining us. Uh, please like and share. Watch out for future videos, especially ones like this. We like them and we'll have a good chat about them. And we're going to catch you in the next one.